Okay, so this is my iMac G3, and recently I've had issues with its CD drive, again, as you've seen in previous videos. So today we're going to diagnose it and potentially have to order another CD drive. Let's get into it. So first, um... Over here, where it would normally come up saying the drive is the name, it doesn't. I can still eject the CD drive. So, if we put in this Paul McCartney disc, now let's just see. So it'll ramp up, but the OS won't recognize it. And this means that I can install software on it, like. I can't reinstall macOS or anything like that, so it's a real pain on these old computers when, um, so yeah, see, it just doesn't come up. If we go in here, yeah, so I think the optical drive may actually be dead, or there's a cable dead. So that's what we're going to be doing today, and I'll crack it open. Okay, so the first thing is going to be to turn it off, so if we just... Tell it to shut down. Okay, so that's turned off now. So now we're going to unplug it and unplug peripherals. Put them over to that side. Right, so now let's start disassembling this thing. It's been a while since I've made a video on this iMac, all because of this issue. And we might get to the bottom of it today, but I don't know. We'll have to find out. So. First we're going to unscrew the screw, if you want a more close up tear down thing go and watch our video that we released over a year ago where I actually broke the original optical drive which was pretty scary but we found a replacement which now the computer doesn't seem to like. It was working but yeah. There we go. So if we just pop this over here. First, undo all of these cables down here. It would have been better if the original drive didn't just break in the first place. <laughs> The good thing about the design of this iMac is that you don't have to go anywhere near the CRT to get access to all of the components inside, which is a really good design choice, so thanks Steve Jobs. Now let's pull this thing out. Right. So we've got a We've got an iMac. So if we have a look in here, yeah, so there's our CPU and RAM tray, there's our GPU there. Um, and that's our optical drive, which seems to be causing us the problems. So first I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna basically just disassemble this whole tray and put everything together and see if it makes a difference. So yeah, let's try that. So, First I'm going to um, remove the graphics memory. So that one's for the CD drive. Okay, so... That's off the connectors off of the motherboard. Yes, yeah, so and now let's um, unscrew the screws. Okay. Now that I've removed this side, it should be easy to get out. And there we are, just like that, the motherboard. Now let's just remove this CD drive. So 
so I've got that screw off. So um, I'm gonna take this thing off and then take the cover off of the optical drive and see what's going on with it. Okay, I've got a different screwdriver now. Let's see if this works. Got back together as you can see, but now I've got to put the lid on it. So let's do that and then put this whole thing together and see if I've fixed anything. Alright, that's all together, so... Now I guess we can just start putting the whole thing together. If I grab this. Okay, so looks like it's time to put this thing back into the case, so let's do it. It's also a good sign. Disappointing. Anyway, I'm going to have a look at the old optical drive and see if there's anything I could potentially recover from that to get this thing working. One moment. So it doesn't look like um, there's any parts I can salvage from the old optical drive. So, yeah, it looks like this thing's getting another new optical drive. So, yeah. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, remember to like, share this video with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.